Hi, I am Bogdan from DNN Sharp. In this video today I want to show you how to build conditional logic inside HTML modules using my tokens. And for this there are actually multiple ways to achieve this. Today I will present uh, three ways to do this and uh, they are all in our documentation. And I will start with the if tokens that come with my tokens and you can just use them directly in the HTML modules. No additional steps are required. So this uh, token just compare one value with another and then if you put a pipe it will return that text only when the condition is true, when the two parameters match. The second one is the same as the first one, just longer. And then there is a third one that displays a uh, text only when a condition evaluates to false not to false, actually when the condition value is to empty okay, so it, when it doesn't return anything so um, I will just grab this token here and try it out in a HTML module so I have an HTML module here and I will go into edit mode and just use the token that I have in my clipboard Okay, so here we compare, and I'll pick up a simple token like user, user, id, and compare it to one, and if it's true, then the text after the pipe will be displayed. Yeah, so let's save and check it out. So now you see the HTML module displays uh, that this is the super user. So now, this is one way to do it. Another way to do it is using a Razor script. So if you go to my token studio, here you can create a script, and I've created a simple one here that just uh, is just a simple if and does the same thing. If user d equals one, displays a text. So. Uh, the nice thing is when you use a Razor token, you can use C-sharp syntax, so you can build actually more complex scripts, more than an if. So if I grab this token and use it here, I will get the same message again. So you see, I still get the message that this is the super user. So this is second way to do it, and third way to do it is still with the with razor with c sharp but you use it uh, in line in the html mode and that is we go into the html view so we can write tags and then we can write the razor tag razor and anything that appears between these tags my tokens will interpret it as um, as, as, as a c sharp code as a razor script so um, I'll just write something here. Still the super user. Okay. okay. So um, in order for this to work in my token studio, in the setup screen under security tab, you have to have the allow inline script access enabled. This is a security option because if you allow un not untrusted users to submit content in the HTML module then you might have a problem so only use this when you trust the content editor so since I have this option enabled it should just work okay so you see I got the third major message saying that I'm still the super user so in this video I showed you three ways to build this condition logic the first one is a simple if that's very used by very easy to use by anyone the second and the third options require uh, some at least some basic c sharp uh, knowledge that's it thank you for your time and if you have other suggestions make sure to write to us on our forum dnnsharp.com/support